What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So before the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice trailer drops, we got a good look at the upcoming second half of Chucky Season 3. So Chucky Season 3 Part 2's trailer dropped today just hours ago and it had the iconic I Will Survive song playing throughout it which was a nice touch, a very nice touch given what Chucky is dealing with as it relates to his aging, Dumbala, abandoning him, all that stuff. I'm not even going to front about this. The trailer was absolute fire. It had this in-game like vibe and I don't mean the actual Marvel film but it feels like the end of an icon in this case Chucky and he's about to go out in a very memorable capacity. That's what the trailer would of course want you to believe because the episodes could be complete trash and they've just picked all of the best sequences in the episodes and put them together in this well-made trailer. Seen that happen plenty of times like we've seen bad trailers for good movies. I don't know that's just the vibe I got from the trailer that it's just it looks like it's gonna be one of the best things that ever happened to the show since it started in 2021 like the second half of season three looks like it's going to easily bump up my rating of this overall season part two just looks so much more entertaining and looks like so much more compelling than part one I don't know it's just something about what this trailer did it was a very good trailer. I'm on board. I'm more excited for part two than I am for part one. I have a lot of hope that this is going to be good. It's just it's just the vibe I got from it that if it, it feels like we're finally going to be saying goodbye to Chucky. Obviously, if it's profitable, Chucky will continue to remain a staple in the horror community. And I'm sure he'll be revived at some point down the road, likely not portrayed by Brad Dorf, if this is indeed the end. But as someone who's been watching Child's Play, Child's Play has been in my life for over 20 years at this point if this is the end of charles lee charles lee rape it feels good to be around for something like this and i hope they commit to the end of chucky in a very strong way chucky is shown in this trailer doubting himself on the phone with tiffany who is still obviously in prison she gives him a pep talk chucky listens to tiffany's advice and goes you know what when the dust settles i want these people to remember my name and i'm like as they should chucky as they should one of the most iconic killer dolls in the history of the horror genre when you pair them next to the big three, Michael, Jason, and Freddy, and their abysmal returns that started happening in the 90s, some of them actually, they just disappeared altogether in the 90s. Granted, Chucky didn't really hold it down because after Child's Play 3, Chucky didn't return until 98. But big staple in the front, in the horror community, next to the big three, you can get, there's glimpses in the trailer of Jake hyping up the fact that Chucky is dying for good this time. So there's a lot of that, this is the end type of thing happening in the trailer so i'm like okay can we please commit to it because it'd be a shame to have such an epic trailer like this and then season four is announced and i'm not saying that it would really diminish it too much it's just this trailer makes it feel like chucky is about to get something a character of this magnitude deserves chucky deserves a proper send-off and of course in a, in a character like this this character deserves to die but it can be done in a way that's very memorable, meaning you're going to give us these last four episodes that are impactful, significant, they aren't trash, and they repair a lot of the issues I've had with the first half of season three. I have hope and faith that that's what's about to happen because that's just what it looks like I'm going to get based off of this trailer. There's a lots of shots of Chucky killing folks around the White Hulk white house <laughs> caroline holding a knife to her sister nika is present and i think i saw a series of different versions of charles lee ray from oldest to youngest because there was a glimpse of the seance that dom mancini told us we would be getting uh we got our first look again at that seance charles lee ray's ghost is being summoned it would look like in the seance our first look at wendell wilkins who was played by john waters we know this just was very epic a very epic trailer i hope and pray that it's committing to what this trailer is trying to tease obviously it could be a bait and switch they want you to think that chucky's gonna die to get your emotions going especially for someone again like me or any of you who have been watching chucky since you were a young kid or maybe you've been watching since the 80s you're in your adulthood wherever you are in your stage of life and you're finally here to see the end of chucky it just feels so epic and so appropriate that I want it to happen. I want it to happen. I want them to be able to commit to it. And again, I can still recognize that if it's profitable, if things go well for them ratings wise, you can easily say, you know what? We wanted it to be the end, but we need a season four or we need a movie or at least let's do this. Maybe you don't need to do it right away, but because it was so successful, there's a talk about reviving Chucky later on, which I see happening. Chucky is a big thing in the, in the horror community. Again, 
I would just love to see Chucky get a proper send off and never be touched again. Like I would hope for with many IPs that I know is never likely going to happen because of how money works. If the machine is still behind you, you're going to keep on getting movies and TV shows and all this other stuff made. Anything that, that makes the IP more profitable to the people that own it, they're going to keep doing it as long as you guys, us, keep showing up and supporting it. But let me know what you guys think about this trailer down in the comment section below. Did you think it was good? Did you not think it was good? Let me know why or why not. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.